Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at the graph editor. Down here, these little squiggly lines like this right there, the graph editor. And this, we can control keyframes within here for animations. And we can also do uh, more advanced subjects, like in here where it comes up with the F-curve editor. And we can also work with drivers, but that's a more advanced subject. So we'll stick with the F-curve editor right now. And notice there's nothing over here in this section. And that's because I don't have any keyframes set on this. So let's maybe say take this uh, blue cube over here and let me see I'll just go back down to frame 0 I'll set it over here I'll give it a location keyframe I location and then suddenly the location keyframe shows up here then I'll go over to 200 and I'll move it up this way so press I and give it another location keyframe and suddenly we have this cool graph that shows up like this alright so this is powerful um, let me see if I press alt A from 0 go back to 0 let's see Whoops, I went too far. <laughs> there you see the, you can just hold middle mouse button, hold middle mouse wheel, you can just move this around. And so there's our animation, and it follows that curve. Well, these curves, this is just a curve, so you can manipulate these curves just like you manipulate other things. So it's taking 200 frames to get there, but I, maybe I wanted to get, you know, let me grab this guy. This. I have this curve, I right click and grab it like that, and I can just press G just like I do in the regular editing window, and I just take it and I just slide it back here. So then to about frame 100. So now if I move my cursor back to the beginning, you can see it only takes 100 frames to do the same animation. All right, how convenient is that? All right, so that G key, just by grabbing that, you can move it down here. Say so I move it down to here. Well, obviously, what that's going to do is not going to move it. It's going to take only 100 frames, but it's going from approximately negative 9 on the x axis back here up to negative about negative 3 on the x axis. So let's press Alt A and see what happens. So, and then we'll go look at the final position of it here when it comes to the end. So there, it's not going to go any further, so I'll stop it. Well, I'll just stop it here and just grab the window N here and go see where it is in X and there it is approximately at negative 3 alright so you can see that this line right here if I zoom, if I zoom in it a little bit like that so you can see it is giving me its X location and this line is giving me the time frame in keyframes, I mean in frames for the frame animation like this. You can just grab this line, I'm left mouse button, and I can just grab it and move it along like this. So the key if then you could also just press A and then A again and then I have all the keyframes associated with that cube in there like this. Or I could just press this one and let's say get shift and have this one because those are the only two keyframes and then maybe I'll just set the whole thing and move it over to the right like this so the animation well I can maybe start it at negative five and it'll go to zero or I'll start it at zero and it comes up here we'll start it at negative five so it doesn't interfere with the other keyframes like that and then we'll run the animation from back here at zero obviously it's not going to do anything until it gets up here and starts moving up that curve. And there it goes, like this. All right, so really straightforward. And then same, just like with your editing other curves, you can right-click this and press G and then affect the shape of the curve. So maybe you want it to take off faster. Move it up here, we'll see. So the, because this is actually one of the better tricks to use is in here. Let me zoom this in to this whole window so you can see this like this. A lot of times when you set a regular keyframe it'll take off nice and slow. It'll get up to speed and then it'll continue like that. And especially if you've set a rotation keyframe, you'll see something start spinning slowly then come up to speed and then it starts, spins down. But a lot of times you want it to just get going. So you can just take these curves like this, right? Adjust them up like that. Well, of course, in this case, I'm not looking at a, a rotation keyframe. I'm just looking at a position keyframe. But if this was a rotation keyframe, so you'll see what happens here. It gets going much quicker. It gets going. It takes off fast. So you can really 
adjust the animation. You can do that with rotations and the whole nine yards. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.